Here we create a simple Kotlin file, which later we will decompile using command line. First, let's see how we normally compile Kotlin code using Intel IDEA. Go to the Firmflower Mirror GitHub page. You will notice Intelli IDEA internally uses the same Firmflower code that we're going to use later while decompiling the code on command line. Clone the repository. Do the gridle build dash x test command. If you receive this error, don't panic. Simply open the repository in your editor and remove the test compiled dependencies. Run the gridle build dash x test command again. Dash x test skips all the tests as we will build in the jar. In the build slant libs folder, the firm flower jar should be created. The class file will be generated in the build folder when we run the Kotlin code. We decompile this class file, copy the path of the simple KT class. Now copy the path where firm flower jar is located. Finally, enter this command java dash jar firm flower dot jar simple kt dot class dot. And we're done. We created the firm flower jar and used it to decompile the code using command line. Kia ora everybody, I'm Flatter from the Spaghetti on Pizza production team and I was the person who's just walked you through how to set up this particular application. And when you're finished setting up this application, if you want to relax and watch some great videos on history, have a laugh on some of our skits, see some awesome debunks, or experience life here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, then by all means, please check out our channel. Link will be in the description. Kakite.